It's probably about time that I gave you guys a little life update. You might be wondering why there's a mountain of stuff behind me. Uh, and in today's video, I'm going to be sharing what's been going on in Emily and my portfolio and how we've actually made some transitions in our life and ended up at this point with a, a mountain of stuff piled on a bed rather than in storage somewhere. Ah, that's better. This is a much cleaner shot. As you've probably seen in some of my recent videos over the last month or two, we're in a new place. We're in a new space at this point. So this is the spare bedroom in our in my mother-in-law's place, and we're staying here while our raise and build takes place. Now, we've had some issues with the raise and build. Uh, there's al already been some delays on the project. We're waiting on Energex. We're waiting on AGL. But I want to give you guys a full update of where we're at today and what we're planning on doing going forward with our own portfolio uh, and the business and all those sorts of things. So the big life update for Emily and I is we have another baby on the way. We're going to have a second baby boy. So we've got Asa, who's coming up on one and a half years old. And we're going to be having a new baby boy in early 2024. So late January, early February. And at this point, we've moved out of the Triple Gable Queenslander. So we live on the south side of Brisbane, a few kilometers from the city, and we've moved out of our Triple Gable Queenslander so we can lift her up, build in underneath, add more bedrooms and bathrooms, and there's a whole renovation series if you want to go back somewhere and watch that playlist. Now we're super excited to be doing that project. So originally the floor plan was a two bed, one bath home, and we're going to a five bed, three bath, two car home. So we're gonna have a carport out the front, bedrooms and bathrooms downstairs, and our open plan living and dining upstairs, and hopefully a new studio space in the upstairs area as well. Now, as you can see from the start of this video, we have a mountain of stuff because we've made the move even further south in Brisbane, so about 30 minutes south of the CBD, to my mother-in-law's house, and we're really, really thankful that we could actually live here because if we were paying rent at the same time as doing our raise and build, that'd be a very expensive endeavor. We did have a look at renting some places. We put in a few applications, but it was a very tight rental market. We were struggling to find a rental place and most of the places are around six to $700 per week. And so it made more sense for us to move a bit further south, be close to family while the raise and build is going on and obviously keep running the business and, and keep the show going with YouTube. So let me give you an, a little update of where the build's at at this point in time. So the raising company has come out to site. We've got a temporary fence up. We've got a toilet in place and they've ripped the timber skirts off the home. They've just put the steel in place and they're ready to start jacking up by stacking those Jenga blocks and lifting the house into the air. The two key things that have delayed our project already are Energex. We're waiting on them to abolish or remove the power. And we're also waiting on the gas. So we want the gas meter removed and we need both of those things to happen before our race company can get to work. So there's been a, you know, a delay already, but that's part of taking on renovation projects. And this is by far the biggest project we've done. We've never raised a house or, or ran our own project raising a house. We've done a lot of cosmetic renovations at this point in time, both personally and professionally in the business, helping clients renovate their properties for a project management fee. But we're really excited to be taking on this major structural job, basically starting from scratch and budgeting it all uh, and hopefully creating an amazing end result. So it took a whole lot of work to clear the stuff out of the Triple Gable Queenslander. My brother-in-law helped me with a removalist truck. So we went and hired a truck from Budget and we were able to move all of our furniture and all of our stuff out. Hence a pile of stuff sitting here in the studio. We've got guitars, boxes, rugs, the list goes on. And so we're only gonna be in here for hopefully the next six to 12 months. And then we're looking to move back into the Triple Gable Queenslander and finish off our own home renovation. We're probably looking to spend around that $400,000 mark, which is a massive amount of money. And Emily's been looking every night. She's been looking on real estate, domain, obviously looking at the funnel that we have here in the business at other deals coming through. But for the similar money around that one and a half million dollar price point, we don't think we could get the location in the area that we're in for the Triple Gable Queenslander or the type and finish that we want for the same money. So that's why we've gone ahead with the renovation rather than buying the end product. So this was just a shorter video to give you a life update on where Emily and I are at. In terms of our larger portfolio, my general plans at the moment are to finish our raise and build. We may need to sell one of our investment properties to fund the cash flows on the, on the build. And then we're going to look to expand our own portfolio. I'm very excited to be looking at doing a motel in the next few years or next 
decade. I want to buy a motel, run it like a hotel, have, have self-check-in, have our own systems and processes in place, and hopefully have that somewhere down on the Gold Coast or in New South Wales. So that's the plan from here. Finish the Raise and Build project, Keep running the business, of course, and enjoying doing that. And then the long-term vision is to open up the motel in, say, five years' time. So Emily and I have set ourselves those stretch targets of taking on the motel, continuing to look to grow our property portfolio over the long term, and we're excited to see where the journey takes us. I just want to thank you guys so much for following our renovation flip series, which is out on YouTube at the moment. Loving seeing you guys drop in every Sunday night to watch those videos and getting your feedback. It's been amazing watching the feedback and hearing and seeing all the comments from you online. So thank you so much for supporting us on YouTube and subscribing. So that's it from me from now. Thanks for sticking around. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.